Bonnie's looking at this weather. What a mess we had this morning. And then there's more coming our way. You're right. Now we're going to look to, say, tomorrow night into Friday for some snow. But this morning was all about the ice. Now, if you look outside, as of right now, the temperature is 42 degrees. Skies are in the process of clearing. High temperature today was actually 47, so you're 7 degrees above average. But the morning low is 31, and that held true right during the morning commutes. We had all kinds of, you know, icing problems out there. Tomorrow morning, the precipitation is not with us, but some of those roadways are still wet. So I, I want you to look for the spots that are forecast to be 30, 32 degrees or colder. So that's Caldwell over to Mayo Pack, north and west of that. It's this area right here where you have a chance to see some slick spots out there in the morning. So, again, make a mental note of that. 39 ended up being or will be our high temperature for your day tomorrow. Cold one, partly sunny, but more clouds start to fill in as you push through the day. I'll show you why that is. Right now, clouds are there, but the clearing is starting to take place. And a couple of snow showers right now just north of Scranton. And they will skip through places like Pike County and Sullivan County very uneventfully. What we are watching, this snow out around Denver, it will pick up some Gulf Coast moisture, and it will be affecting our area. So let me show you how it's all going to work out. Here's your Thursday looking pretty good out there. By about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, eh, partly sunny, but you notice the clouds are coming in. And eventually all cloudy and then the snow showers begin this time tomorrow night it looks like we'll be having snow showers moving in places off to our west maybe up to the north as well and then it's with us while you go through the overnight hours here you are 6 a.m. a lot of folks starting their morning commute the center of the storm is forecast to be offshore okay so the closer you are to that center the heavier bouts of snow that you'll be having, not as much as you see north and west. So that's why I do think the more likely spots to see that four inches, maybe a little bit more than four, would be just like that. Yeah, southern portions of Ocean County, maybe the east end of Long Island. And then it moves out a little quicker than we initially thought. Here we are at 10 a.m., really winding down. Actually, some clearing skies by the time you get to the afternoon. So snowfall totals, I'm saying it's a widespread two to four. Anybody could see it. Well, the graph is on board with that saying, basically, two to four. Brand new model run just came in here now. It is picking up on a four point. Seven for Sparta. So what does that mean? The center of the storm is still forecast to be offshore, but they're thinking that there could be some of these rogue bands that develop, and this is always a possibility in a storm like this. So again, I'm going to stick with my two to four for anybody in our area. Maybe a couple spots go a little bit above that. The European, they've been holding steady. And again, they're right in that two to four inch range as well, with the biggest number being a 3.6 for Tom's River and 3.1 for Brentwood. The city itself right now calling for 2.3 in the park. That would be the biggest snowfall we've had so far. We've only picked up two tenths of an inch so far for Central Park. Across the board, Thursday, 39 degrees. We talked about that. Increasing clouds as you push into the nighttime hours and the snow begins late tomorrow night. We'll have it while you're sleeping into the morning commute. You won't have it for your drive home. 34 the high temp on Friday. And that snow, whatever you pick up, is not going to melt. It's real cold on Saturday. 28 only getting up to 33. Sunday, there's another chance for precipitation out there. It is 31 degrees early Sunday. So maybe you could have some frozen precip. I think it turns over to primarily wet weather as you push through the afternoon at 43. And then look at those cold. Look at this day, Tuesday. Tuesday next week, 19, only up to 28. So the cold air is uh, it's going to be here, and it's certainly here right now, and we will have it as you look ahead, too. So, again, the snow you pick up, it's not melting the next day. Okay, thank you, Lonnie.